are up here on the roof hiding out. Looks like some lashers, a swords dwarf, or a swords orc. I think they're called wind blades here. Let me see. You have an orc wing wind sword. Well, that's it then. There's nothing else in this town for us. We don't have anything to trade for, so we're all just going to head out. Um, we'll cut through these mirthful lands to the southeast. And I think follow these rivers. Ooh, we get jumped. The lion jumps out and tries to attack us. But we've got it surrounded. We collide and tumble backwards. Um, where are we at? Ooh, Jaclar bashes the lion. The lion collides with the catfish. They tumble and fall over. And we're on the ground. Uh, I think we could probably for no I can't stand up somebody's on top of us and they're all up there I think they'll take care of it Yugi Man twists the sword around the lion is struck down by Yugi Man I think I still have no idea where I am oh, I'm way up there by the tree let me let me get in there and get some aha we stabbed the lion on the right rear leg and it bleeds to death Feast on blood, my friends. Our first combat is successful against wildlife. I don't think anyone got hurt. Better not have. I guess, you know, we could also go try to take out that bronze colossus now that we got enough people. This is about the, the size of group. I'd like to get slaughtered. So let's head all the way back to that cave then. And we're going to take on this bronze colossus. May never have another group of recruits this large again. We stab the zombie wolf in the tail with a short sword. Looks like there's a couple around us. And then the zombie wolf dies again. Returns back to the underground. And just slice him down. It's training for your blades. It's eyeballs pop out, I think it said. I'm not sure. And whenever the screen jumps around, whenever an announcement happens, it kind of throws me off, off balance as to which dwarf I'm looking at which character on the screen is mine. The eagle swoops down and tries to attack an orc. It's not pleased to see the orcs trespassing through their, their territory. Dwarfs are one thing, but a bloody orc, it's unheard of. So here's the cave then, Inchgutter, the prairies of declining. Let's change the music real quick. And let's enter this place then. The prairies have declined. We've discovered a cave entrance. And we didn't immediately get yelled at by an evil bronze colossus threatening to rip our head off. Keep your eyes peeled, boys. Let me know if you see this entrance to the cave. And the Bronze Colossus has spotted us. Extinguisher of Uzum Crystal Earth and who sought my prey is only to be rejected in death. Prepare to die. Um, there, so there's the Bronze Colossus, way over here. I am not going to be the first one to, um, I guess, dive into combat here. The crew brings up the rear. Uh, let's get a better look at this Bronze Colossus now. Azipa Vithiba Unithi Asisi. Not damaged at all. A gigantic magic statue made of bronze and bent on mayhem. Only the most foolhardy idiots would chase after and try to strike one of these down. And he's standing on peanuts. So, who's going to be the first one to go in there? Catfish misses the Bronze Colossus. J. Car Clar bashes it in the left hand, but the attack glances off. Um, we are going to just strike. Dodge preference is to move around, and charge defense is to dodge away. We are not going toe-to-toe, -to -toe, really, with the Bronze Colossus. The Bronze Colossus counter-strikes and charges at the Flame of Dark. Flame of Dark is propelled away and slams into an obstacle. We're trying to charge over to the Bronze Colossus. Where is it? Flame of Dark is thrown to the side and slams into the mountainside wall. We stab the Bronze Colossus in the left upper leg. It lodges in the wound. Into the wound. Uh, let's see. It's got Flame of Dark by the upper body. We stab it in the lower leg. It glances away. More shots glance off of it. Uh, 
It releases its grip on Flame of Dark. Ooh, there's blood. Somebody's been hurt. We stab it in the upper body. The sword lodges in the wound. Flame of Dark stands up. The Bronze Colossus charges at Flame of Dark in his wounded state. It punches Flame of Dark in the upper body, shattering the skin and bruising the muscle, shattering the right floating rib through the large silkworm silk cloth. A tendon has been torn in your rib. Uh, Flame of Dark is propelled away and slams into the side of the mountain again. You're unable to get out of that corner. The Bronze Colossus just continues to pummel you. Uh, we're still maintaining uh, grip on our sword. And it looks like the Bronze Colossus is actually standing on top of you now. We stab at it and chip its left shoulder. Yugi Man misses an attack. We miss the attack. Flame of Dark gives in to the pain. Let's get a better look at you, Flame of Dark. There you are. Your upper body and lower body are bruised. Um, let's see, view something. I guess Chanila Shield is in the grip of the Bronze Colossus. Your liver and right kidney are damaged. Uh, your upper body is smashed open. Your upper body is bruised. Your lower body is smashed open. Your lower body is bruised. Your right kidney and liver is bruised. Your floating rib is broken. Um, you are taking a beating, but you're still alive. Um, so let's get to action. We need to continue chipping away at this Bronze Colossus. The Bronze Colossus releases its grip on your shield. J. Clar misses it. The Bronze Colossus counter-strike grabs J. Clar by the chain copper leggings. We slash it in the upper short body, in the upper body with our sword. And the Bronze Colossus turns to charge at J. Clar. Collides with J. Clar, and J. Clar is knocked over and tumbles backwards. Dang it, and I dodge to the side whenever I try to attack it. We slash it in the right lower leg, fracturing its leg. Continue to chip at it. Our sword jams into the lower body, and the Bronze Colossus manages to grab J. Clar by the upper right back tooth somehow. We twist the sword around, maintain possession. Yugi Man stabs the Bronze Colossus in the left hand. We slash the Bronze Colossus in the right upper leg, charges and collides with J. Clar again, knocking J. Clar even further backwards out into the field. J. Clar is temporarily stunned from the momentum, the impact. We stab it in the right upper leg, and the catfish bashes it from behind, but the shot glances off. We launch our sword into the wound, into the gigantic beast again. Uh, Bronze Colossus releases its grip on J. Clar, and J. Clar stands up. We twist the sword around in the wound. And we stab it in the left hand. The Bronze Colossus charges again at J. Clar. Uh, collides and they both tumble backwards. We pull our sword out of the beast with a scratching, shrieking sound of metal on metal as it charges away. We slash the Bronze Colossus again. Continuing to jam the sword into any, I guess, weak spot in the body that we can find. How is the Bronze Colossus doing? It's pretty beat up. Its upper body is broken, its third toe has been cut. That's not very good. I need a big axe or something. I need a mage that can cast magma. Oh, and Uzubicus, the Bronze Colossus, has been struck down. We stab the Bronze Colossus in the head from behind, chipping the head and shattering the soul gem. The Bronze Colossus has been struck down. I don't think we lost anyone yet. J. Clar stands up. Let's get a better look at J. Clar. You did good there. Blocking, I guess, and dodging with your your shield. Uh, your right upper arm is broken, your right upper arm is smashed open, your right upper arm is also bruised, and your right breast has been smashed open. Your right breast is bruised. You took a good pummeling. S4, let's see, we've got Flame of Dark, are you still alive? You're still with us. You're laying on the ground. Uh, you're still smashed open and everything. I think everybody else is fine. Juan Nukabaga and Yugi Man, you're fine. Catfish, you didn't take any blows. Uh, there's a steel high boot here. I'm not sure whose that is. Somebody lose a leg, somebody lose a boot. Ezra P Maybe it was the Bronze Colossus, I don't know. Um, let's pick that up though. We will pick up the steel high boot. And we put it in our cave spider silk backpack. Um, let's travel away. So, let's go. hey, I'm actually really pleased with that. I didn't think a Bronze Colossus could be killed. We got extremely lucky with that sword driving through the head. Is everybody with us? We got uh, one, 
to Catfish J. Klar, Yugi Man. Um, where's Flame of Dark Hat, guys? Don't tell me he couldn't come with us. Um, we'll go back up to the cave here. Hang on. I want to make sure we don't leave him behind. Where are you at, Flame of Dark? Are you still over here? He is not. If he was, he's he's crawled off. That's a large cave opening, too. Bet you we go down there and find some treasures. Um, I guess I might have to check Legends and see if he died. Oh, well, we'll travel back. Hopefully we didn't lose anybody this time. Oh, we get ambushed by a bunch of eagles. I want to check some. J. Clar, um, nobody else died, it doesn't look like. So where did you go, Flame of Dark? Actually, that might be everybody now. Did we get everyone? We got Flame of Dark there, Yugi Man there, uh, J. Clar there, and Catfish there. I think that's everybody. We strike that eagle down. I'm not even worried about eagles now. After a Bronze Colossus, um, this whole adventuring party should probably just call it a day. And we will travel to the mountain halls of Arculet. Should hang their swords, um, I guess on the mantles, on the walls, somewhere in the mountain halls, and just retire. Let the bards write legends about them for the, all the rest of eternity. But instead, we gotta find the king and mayor down here first. I'm sure they're still out here. I think the king liked to fish out here at this pond, and the expedition leader, Cog, didn't really ever seem to do anything. Who are you? Stukos, the general. Hello, General. You have a job for us? I am flattered, but I have no need of you. Seek out Cog Shock Danvils, the expedition leader. Yes, he was around here earlier. Pray tell, where did he go? Um, this might be him here. Whoops. Nope, that's a farmer. Uh, so I guess I will just continue to look for Cog and or the king. There's the king. Hello, King. Now tell me where Cog is. Uh, I'll get one step closer. Dodog Zonder Dabram, the King. You'll never believe this, my liege. But, um, we killed the Bronze Colossus. You succeeded. Amazing. You are a champion. I am speaking for the wills of Sinking. Thank you for your offer of service. But, even though you've killed the Bronze Colossus, there is another beast that would bring us all much glory. Hand holes. The infinite sewer is far to the northeast. The sewers of an old ancient kingdom that time has forgotten. We don't know where the sewers lead, but they've gone on for as far as we can map out. Seek this place and kill Zidane's swizzled swelter, the flare of gems, the red dragon. This vile fiend has killed eight in his lust for murder, and there's no telling what treasures are in his hoard, in his hole, his mountain cave. Um... I guess that'll have to do. Where's my rewards? How about you? Are you willing to join up now? We killed the Bronze Colossus, Lore. Are you impressed yet? Ha, huh, such enthusiasm. Go kill three Bronze Colossuses and then come back. Fine. What about you? Is this Catton? Tosid the Diplomat. Keep your pen in your pocket. Let the sword play. Stay with us. Oh, I guess then I will wander around and look for Cog, see if there's anyone else I can recruit in town. And whenever I come back, hopefully we'll either have a new job or we'll be heading out uh, with just this one to go kill the dragon. Swizzled Swazzled.